International Education Week is the time when the University of Evansville celebrates the international experiences held among the members of its community. You can have, you can very fast and easiest to get to know other culture. The neat things about the way the week is arranged as far as I'm concerned is that there's not only folks and I guess like, like me who come, come in and offer some language training in an area of our expertise but there's also uh, student involvement, that is to say UE students, students who have studied abroad, students who have gone abroad on uh, research trips and so on. One day is dedicated entirely to culture sessions in which members of the community are invited to come learn a little bit about the language and culture of other countries. You can hear about all kinds of things. I offer a, I don't know, a 20 or 30 minute session on Wolof language and Wolof is one of the primary languages in the country of Senegal in West Africa and one of the cool things I think is that this is a non-European language. People get to know a language which is re really a huge introduction and a very important introduction to culture as well. So they can walk away from the session with some wall of words and phrases and maybe some idea about life in Senegal. Another day of the week is dedicated to presentations from students and faculty who present about their experiences studying and researching abroad. One of these groups is the Mongolia Project. The Mongolia Project is an, attempt, is an attempt by us to help a missionary group in uh, Mongolia. They're trying to uh, take prostitutes and alcoholics and convert them from living a life on the streets and give them a better life and a new opportunity. Three groups of students, business, mechanical, and civil engineering students, and the business students are trying to create a business plan to give them a place to work and a new place to go. Um, the civil engineering students and mechanical engineering students are designing uh, facilities to help with their endeavors and alternate heating systems to help lower the cost. People that we're helping, they're really people in need and there is no other, they, they, there's no one else to really turn to. So it's groups like us that come in to help these, help these people and really change their lives. The week ends with the International Bazaar, where international students present food and entertainment from their home country. So I know there's the bazaar, but I like food very much. And I think I can enjoy different kinds of food. So this is also a very direct way for me to get another culture. Me being able to be exposed to other cultures is really, really important because it makes the people more able to work together and also to find new friends, new kind of culture, being more open. I guess it's a common place to say that the world is getting smaller and uh, we, are, we in the United States are regularly and I should think constantly really engaged with people from other countries who are in our country and we're engaged with them in their countries. So it behooves us all just as citizens to uh, know as much as we can and be sensitive to folks from other places. Um, and I think that's one of, the, one of the big things that this week will do for people uh, in many, many, many different ways.